right, so we're going to talk to you a little bit tonight about drought. Now, a lot of you have been seeing and hearing reports all over the Midwest about the lack of rain here in western Michigan. We've only received about two inches of rain since the first part of June, so we are in a drought condition. We'd normally have about six inches of rain. We've only gotten about two, so it's certainly starting to affect us. So what's neat about a corn plant is corn plants respond extraordinarily well, both positive and negatively, to drought conditions. So this corn is an, is an 88, 89-day corn. We planted an early-day corn this year for some marketing reasons, and this went in uh, towards the end of April, so it went in prior to the rain. Now, that's the first thing about good drought management is if you plant corn in a drought condition, it's going to develop a better root system early on, and therefore it's going to be able to seek water deeper down as the plant grows and is more and more stressed. If you plant corn and then you get a lot of water right away, it never develops that critical root mass that it needs to find water when the growing gets tough, as we say, like this. So some of this corn that you see me here right now, this corn has been drought stressed, and you can see things like this. Like you see where these leaves are starting to turn brown here? This corn has what we call fired. Now this corn is dead. So is this stuff here. No amount of water is going to bring this back. When you see corn with brown leaves on it like this, it's history. There is no, there is no rescuing it. Now corn like this, where you can see these, these leaves starting to kind of roll up, when you see a corn plant on a hot day and the leaves have rolled up like this, it's the plant protecting itself. Now if you have hot, real hot nights, the plant will stay rolled, but tonight it's only in the 60s. These leaves will unroll, allow the plant to respirate and expel oxygen, take CO2 back in, and the plant will continue to grow and thrive even in a drought condition. So temperature is as important, if not more, than rainfall sometimes. Now these plants, like I say, are continuing to look for water. And one of the biggest reasons that these plants are healthy and this, this stuff isn't even the best. We've, this is a compaction area of this farm. We sometimes park machinery right here. If you look over that way, we've got some corn that is, oh, probably close to seven and a half to eight feet tall. Now that is because we don't park the equipment over there. There's zero compaction in that area. One of the ways we fight compaction is we use the disc ripper, which is a tool we show you in a previous video. We also incorporate a lot of vertical tillage. We try and keep as much weight off the field as we can. Uh, unfortunately, some production systems, you'll see people use heavy equipment like a manure tanker. Those are very, very hard on your soil. They beat that compaction in. Now, the roots on these plants right now are probably approaching 20 to 22 inches down. Whereas if we have a lot of compaction in this area, where some of these shorter plants are, these roots may only be down 8 or 10 inches. That's why they can't find any water and they're starting to suffer. But our better plants are just going to keep digging until they find water. And a lot of that comes from corn hybridization. And, you know, the people talk about the drought of 88. If we had plants that were of the same genetic material that we had in 1988, it'd be over long ago. These plants would all be dead. But because we've done new breeding, a lot of our plants are bred now in South America. So we've brought some South American traits and we've brought Western traits into the Midwest. These plants are able to handle heat and water stress a lot better than they were even just five or ten years ago. So that's a little about drought, a little bit about the heat. We'll uh, talk a little later, some more about corn, we'll do some soybeans, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.